that most Africans don't actually know African history. Most of Africans don't actually know that they were colonized. Most Africans don't actually know that they about the slave trade. They don't actually know. This is because Africa is a very young continent. Something like 75% um, of people in Africa are under the age of 30. And we have been let down because of the lack of knowledge of our history. Most of African uh, countries were colonized and they were colonized with the use of very grotesque violence. King Leopold II of Belgium killed 10 million Africans in seven years. And the ones he didn't kill, he chopped off the baby's hands and feet. The Germans in Namibia, they, they got people to decapitate their families and so that they could take the skulls back to study. The British in, in Africa, why are we not learning our history? And the reason Africans are not taught our history is because it's too painful. It's too painful and people don't actually want you to know uh, the horrors that have been dished out on Africans. Because the only thing that they want to show us is that Europeans come to Africa to give us aid. Africans, Europeans do not care about Africans. They sold Africans into slavery. And when slavery was supposedly over, they colonized Africans and they turned them into slaves in their own homes. Now, and this history is so recent. It's so recent. We celebrated, Kenya, Kenya only celebrated its uh, independence about uh, just over 50 years ago. It's so recent. Your parents will tell you this history. We need to insist that Africans are taught our own history to control our narrative. The missionaries did not bring religion to Africa. We were already religious. The reason Africans are religious is because we were already religious. For example, my tribe, the Gakoya people, we already worshiped the guy, our God, who is omnipresent, who is invisible to the naked eye. And the only thing that made this go into the churches was because our God guy says that we mustn't worship in man-made temples. And therefore we worshiped under sacred trees and they cut down those trees in order uh, to uh, prove to us that our gods did not exist. We need to know who we are. It's the only way we can move forward by understanding where we come from. No, it... I think I couldn't say it better myself. And I want to touch on two things. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. You know, I believe uh, in the human family, but I also believe that if black Af or African, whatever you call yourself these days, I don't know, coloreds, but if we really knew the history, the glorious history, and who we are and stand in it, there is no way in the world we could live beneath our privilege the way we are. There is no way in the world we could accept the violence against us the way we do. There is no way, although we were made and we were into tribes, different tribes and families, but it was only done so we could get to know each other better. Not to subdue, not to antagonize, not to enslave. Um, and then chattel slavery is a whole different uh, um, animal. So I'm not going to go there. But what I heard in this uh, conversation was two things that I think is extremely important. One is, do y'all actually think that they will be burning bo history books or any book that they deem that show um, black people in there. I'm going to say black people for lack of a better term. That's just the generation I'm from. Um, do you think that they will be going through all this trouble to erase you if you weren't God's first people? If you knew who you were before colonialization or colonization, do you realize not only would you 
act a little different because you know the sacredness of who you are, other people would respect us a little more because they would know who we are. And those that do, they will know that we were accepting nothing less than to be treated like God's first people the way we should be. Unfortunately, the world has taken a different turn. And then when you look at history and you look at how a people who could give literature, mathematics, science, Everything to the world. Now. Is. At a crosswords of an onslaught. Of trying to have their glorious history erased. And it's been coming for a long time. From the white Cleopatra's to the. Uh, just in Egypt and the white people. All the movies and all. Everything. It's all been for. The fragile ego of white people. Okay? And those who understand this, my beautiful white brothers and sisters who know who we are, I want to thank them because they act like they know who we are. But those that don't, those who are hell-bent on thinking that they are some kind of privileged individuals because they have manipulated the books, the sciences, the and won't admit that they're master thievery of and robbing of the world's resources and countries. And until they can come to grips with that, I don't see how they can get any respect from y'all. I don't understand how y'all could use them as a blueprint of something to aspire to. Master liars, master thieves, master uh, deceivers. And I mean this in all sincerity because all the books point back to who the real Hebrew people are. Every time you look at somebody... And you hear them say, um, I have a right to a certain landmass. When their DNA shows that they have nothing in common with that land, then you should know who you are. When you hear the word Palestinian, when you hear that should make, that should make your blood boil just like you hear African American. It's the same script. Making somebody feel less than. Um, being a, a, a colonizer. Okay? And trying to make and convince the outer population that they are the chosen ones and for those of y'all who go to church every Sunday and sit up there and go thank you Jesus thank you Jesus and never understand the who Jesus was I feel so sorry for y'all because that's one of the other reasons why we can't come out the bondage that we're in Jesus recognized that he recognized it. And for that reason, he didn't want to fellowship with y'all too much. I always say if all the different religions, especially, in, I mean, in our community, could just leave their religious affiliations at the door and come and hear a word that talks to them about who they were, who they are, and how their whole history after the colonization has been made to try to dull their pineal glands, have been trying to kill them through the food, have been uh, genocidal upon them, whether it was the Tuskegee uh, experiment 
or whether it was King Leopold. It's all something that y'all should be interested in as black people. And the moment, and even fair-minded white folks, when you understand your history and then understand that this is supposed to be a world for all people, not just white people and then people oh and, and they the one in power and everybody else is in poverty. You say you uh because of capitalism it has to be that way. It don't have to be like this. Not at all. Not at all. And of course you are gonna hear all the time black people that are colonized over here in America, they live ten times better than somebody that's colonized over on the continent. I agree. I agree. So y'all don't think they should have nothing for their labor? <laughs> we live better. We don't live by the standards of what America is. Okay? So why should we be we be living like the uh, uh a country that has uh, no electricity when we in a country that has electricity. The, and, and to be honest with you, the electricity should turn on regardless of whether you're black or, or white, um, right? It, that's not how we view these things. We, we view them as if you pay the bill, you can have it. However, look how we show up look how we the chosen people the first people I should say the chosen people I'm going to keep it real look at how we show up all I can say is that we and I don't have all the answers I really don't I just know that we are living so far beneath our privilege and we don't know and we don't profess to know who we are because if we did we would have to clean ourselves up totally totally and I think that would just personify if my people who are called by name called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways Then will I heal their land. Wow. Because we are living so far beneath our privilege. Because it's almost as if we've been driven mad. It is. You know, and then to have to go to the same institution that put you to, in that situation. To have them deal with your mental health. It's just not, it's not a good policy. You know, I don't think that a wolf who is eating up all your children, you'd be foolish enough to go and say, uh, can I sit and have a conversation with you? Why are you eating up all my kids? It just makes no sense. So I'm going to get off the phone. I mean, I'm going to get off this <laughs> right now. And um, y'all tell me what you think. Y'all tell me what you think. Do you think it's imperative of us to understand as much as we can about our history, who we are, who we be? And do you think that that will somehow enlighten us or maybe change some of our behaviors? If we knew who we were, would we respect ourselves a little bit more? And then in turn, if we respected ourselves a little more, a bit more, don't you think other people would as well? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.